Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about projective techniques which comes under unit 4 that is data collection methods in the subject nursing research and statistics. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students and MSc nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. As I have told earlier, this video will fully deal about the various methods of projective techniques. So, what are projective techniques? So, projecting means we are projecting on something like that and all we are telling no. So, these methods, these are the methods of measuring psychological attributes means characteristics, psychological characteristics by providing respondents with unstructured stimuli to which they respond. So you are not formulating a structured questionnaire one by one like that. So just to you are giving some stimulus which is unstructured and to that stimulus how the individual is responding. So that is called as your projective technique. These are the methods of measuring psychological attributes or characteristics by providing respondents with what structured stimuli unstructured stimuli so you are giving some unstructured stimuli for which the respondents are responding there are so many types of projective techniques out of that association technique completion technique construction technique expressive technique choice ordering miscellaneous technique we are going to discuss in this video so the types are association completion technique construction technique expressive technique choice ordering miscellaneous types First we will see association technique. This technique requires the subject to respond at the presentation of stimulus word with the first thing that comes to their mind. So this technique requires the subject to respond at the presentation of any stimulus or any word which comes to their mind so that by seeing that uh, exactly what they are associating. For example, if you are showing rose to a um, person, suppose on seeing the rose, many person will be telling differently. Some will be telling as love, some will be telling their lover name, some will be telling uh, as Jawaharlal Nehru, they will be relating rose to the our um, first prime minister. Okay, like there's so many things, the association, the word with what they will be relating. So, you will be giving a stimulus, that uh, unstructured stimulus is your word and what comes into their mind first. Okay, for example, if you are telling about Wooty, tourist spot, first immediately it is a tourist spot like that. Uh, or for some other person, they will be telling it differently. Suppose they have studied in Wooty school, so they will be telling about school, Wooty convent like that and all. So, not, uh, whatever comes into their first uh, mind uh, when you are showing a stimulus, that has to be taken. So, that uh, with the, this particular stimulus has been associated with particular response. Next is completion test. Under this you can have sentence completion test or story completion test. So you will give half of the story and you can tell them to complete the story or in between the story you will be giving some gap so that they can complete it. Similarly sentence completion um, test for example where there is a will if you are telling they will be telling there is a way like that. So that is sentence completion test. Um, so in this way you have give uh, you have uh, give some incomplete sentences or incomplete stories uh, however they want they can uh, complete it where there is a will only they cannot tell the problem whatever comes to into their mind they can tell it uh, so you cannot expect the same answer where there is a will there is a way like that uh, if you are asking some sentence let them complete on their own way okay 
construction technique under construction technique you have so many things in this the subject is required to produce or construct something at direction usually it can be a story or a picture okay in this the subject is required to produce or construct something at direction usually it can be a story or a picture so under this you have thematic appreciation technique rosenwick test rosak test hotsman ink blot test Tomkins test, horn picture arrangement test. So there are so many things out of this. This Rosak Singplot test. Usually everyone used to play in our school days. Just previously, and now they are using most of the schools. They are using a ballpoint pen. Previously, and all they will be using ink pen. So in your white paper, we will be. putting uh, from that pen uh, we will be sprinkling the ink and uh, we will nicely crash that paper or we will fold that paper so after folding uh, some images will be appearing and we will be asking what some will be telling it is looking like an angel it is looking like a devil like it is looking like an animal like that and all they will be telling so this we used to uh, play in our school days okay so like that so many things are there we will see one by one thematic appreciation um technique so it consists of a set of pictures of normal everyday event and the respondents are asked to describe what they think that the pictures represent so they will be giving some pictures in the thematic theme based pictures will be there so each picture when it comes uh, what uh, what they will remember see even in uh, some uh, interview shows also um, for celebrities they will be showing some pictures uh, previously taken so what uh, they what is the memory behind it uh, like that so similarly here also they will be giving some some pictures uh, so whatever comes into their mind by seeing the picture they have to uh, relate and they have to tell it so all these help are very much helpful in determining your personality like that and all personality next is rosen wicks test so here instead of pictures uh, they will be having a series of cartoon cartoon pictures they will be given so in a cartoon format uh, no words are there by seeing the cartoon uh, what uh, they are getting into their mind okay so by seeing a cartoon picture like tom and jerry means of what you are feeling like that and also like they will not give exactly like tom and jerry so some cartoons they will be depicting and whatever comes into your mind you have to uh, put uh, some words in, uh, in that balloon space or you can uh, do your own wording space like that whatever comes into your mind that is rosen wick test next is rosak test so here rosak test that this uh, test consists of 10 cards having prints of ink blot that is splashes of ink already you, you can play i told uh, that uh, we uh, we have played but uh, um, already the cards uh, commercially it is available so you can see it uh, what the Uh, design represents so according to each one uh, each one will be perceiving differently the same figure one may tell it as an angel one may tell it as a devil one may tell it as a um, uh, bat mammal okay uh, one may tell it as a uh, some other uh, bird one may tell it as a kangaroo like that each person will be telling it uh, differently or some will be telling their enemy uh, name like that and all so that is the respondents are asked to describe what they perceive in them next is holzman ink blot test this consists of 45 cards which are based on color movement shading and other factors one response per card is interpreted at three level of appropriateness so we, uh, so each card you will be having some color movement or shading like that and all so out of that they have to select one response okay this is holzman ink blot test next is tomkins horn picture arrangement test in tomkins horn uh, picture arrangement test um, this is for group administrations so there will be five plays each will be having three sketches and you are asked to um, arrange the sketches in whatever way you want you can arrange it differently um, as per your creativity or uh, how you want to you want to make an animal you want to make a number whatever it may be according to that you have to arrange that is tomkins horn picture arrangement test next is expressive technique a subject is asked to role play or act draw or paint a specific concept or situation so you will be given a situation suppose uh, 
act uh, like a drunken person you have drunken and you have to act and show accordingly or some situations will be given so you have to go on enact it okay or uh, a theme will be given based on the theme you have to go and draw it or paint it okay uh, according to a specific concept or a specific situation this nectic focus on the matter in which the subject constructs something rather than or what it represents so here he is uh, uh, showing all his expressions in the form of either a role play or in the form of a diagram or painting like that choice ordering uh, the subjects have to explain why certain things are most important or rank order or categorize certain factors according to the topic under research see this is more or less to choice order questioning so in choice order or rank order also many aspects will be given out of that which uh, you are considering uh, most that you will be taking so here also so many cards you will be put in and out of those cards you have to select okay and you have to tell why you have selected that card first okay so out of some 50 cards you have to select the most important 10 cards like that if you are telling whichever so first if he is taking what is the reason for taking it first so first importance i am giving to this particular card so you have to tell for what reason you have took that card for example um, so many cards are there first card i am taking health because health is more important if health is there only we can enjoy everything so next card i am taking money money is also the need of the our so without money we cannot do anything next again education education is important like that each one one card will be having and you have to tell rationalize why you have selected those cards also miscellaneous types drawing a picture each participant is given a blank piece of paper and pencil and is asked to draw a picture that might offer some insights on behavior and attitude so freely you are giving you are giving a paper and a pencil whatever comes to their mind they can draw it next using fantasy and daydreaming participants are provided asked to describe topic related to fantasies and daydream so many participants will be having daydreaming fantasy they are living in a world of fantasy so if they are living in a world of fantasy how they how how they are thinking and what are all they are expecting or you will give a, just imagine you are in a sea show so what you will do like that you also can give a situation or you can suppose if already they are in daydreaming or fantasy living in a world of fantasy you can ask them to explain about their fantasy level or daydreaming level next is clay modeling so the participants are provided with different colored clays okay and are requested to give shape to them to reflect their feeling and thought so each one will be doing it very very differently based on the so this shows that psychology Psychology. so even uh, the same thing clay modeling even i am giving to my uh, daughter and my uh, um, children also so the each uh, two children they will be doing differently okay advantages moving on to advantages of this projective technique they can make a significant contribution in the research uh, which is based on belief values motivation and personality these techniques provide a weave of overall functioning of individuals so you can assess their personality inner emotions values everything interest motivation everything you can assess by this methods projective technique this provides new energy in a group discussion and lighten the mood respondents do not perceive what is right or wrong answer but whatever comes into their mind whatever idea or concept comes into their mind just they will respond accordingly so there is no right wrong like that and all uh, disadvantages the complexity of the data and the corresponding skills required of the researcher so the researcher has to be very much uh, uh, skillful because whatever they are giving answers you you should be very much skillful to perceive the thing so what they are expected to tell to you they are expensive to administer because highly skilled research staff all cannot go because everyone can administer a test but you have to perceive the test to know that the perception of the test is very very important and it can be done only by a skillful researcher so if they are telling a the some answer means you have to relate it to the life situation or uh, uh, the condition of the client so it is difficult to get the subjects to project themselves into the roles of the researcher wish them to assume so the researcher may want to know something but sometimes the answers what has been given will not be satisfied for the researcher the researcher will be thinking in another way and the answers what they are giving that will be in other way so all this leads to finally a dilemma like that thing okay so these are all the disadvantages okay
hope this video has given a detailed explanation about projective techniques which comes under important uh, five mark questions like that also they will be asking so uh, my previous videos link i have given in psychology uh, playlist and nursing research and statistics playlist because this projective techniques no it comes even under the subject psychology also okay uh, and it comes under data one of the data collection method so you can watch our channel playlist bsc nursing research and statistics for more nursing research and statistics related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel if the same uh, projective test and all if you want to learn in personality chapter in psychology also you can watch bsc psychology playlist thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel